Welcome back to Watching Baseball. Thank you for joining us. It's baseball. My name is John Boy. Next to me in his own apartment and not really next to me is Jake. He's wearing a suit because it is officially Jeff Passon Day, uh, May 13th. Is it May? May 13th. So we are, we are, we have moved on to games 163. All of the 163rd tiebreaker games. The last one is in 1980. Jake, there wasn't another one until the expanded playoffs in 1995. Man, saying it's May is pretty weird, huh? Yeah, it doesn't feel like May because we're stuck inside and all that. But I think people did, like, they skipped the dumb Justin Timberlake, it's going to be May memes too pretty sad. hard this year. I'm too sad about it. Yeah, um, yeah, because you said it's May, and it's like, whoa. But yeah, May 13th is Jeff Passon Day. We all know that. And uh, yeah, man, th- this is a fun one. These 95 Mariners, they they called up a 19-year-old kid who became known as A-Rod, so that's kind of fun. A lot of fun names throughout that team, including a weird infield, um, a big man on the mound for them. And we were doing just a quick wiki to, again, cover our butts to sound like full idiots, although we will say we don't know really anything. Um, We're reacting, not informing. The Angels uh, blew a huge division lead. I think they were 13 up on the Mariners and like 11 on the Texas Rangers or something like that on August 3rd. So it's, uh, I mean, a classic case of one team collapsed, one team kind of came out of nowhere. So that's fun. Yep. And very similar to the situations we have today where the players union and the league aren't agreeing. They struck in 1994. Something that the owners got was more playoff games. The divisional series comes back. Uh, They did it briefly in 1981. We talked about that in the 1981 World Series. Comes back. And now, because they expanded the playoffs, two more teams want in and they go down to the wire. They need a tiebreaker. Let's just start the video. We're going straight to the seventh inning. The Mariners are up 1-0 at this point, looking to expand on their lead. Big unit on the bump for them, doing good things. Mike Blowers. start off, Mikey Blowers, barely know her. Um, Yeah, man, I, I mentioned this Mariners infield, Jim. A lot of fun. I mean, Tino Martinez, our guy, first base. Uh, Joey Cora played a buck twenty at second. Luis Soho played a hundred and two at shortstop. Blowers one thirty four at at third base, and then yeah, that that A Rod guy ended up coming up. What was Soho looking like when he was playing a hundred and whatever at short? I mean, a thirty year old Luis Soho played a hundred games at, at shortstop for the Mariners, and I think it was beautiful. Yeah, it was probably gorgeous. It was probably very 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 delicate. Mark Langston twirling the pill right now? Yeah, Langston versus Johnson. And uh, they they traded scoreless for the first four, and then the Mariners put one on the board in the fifth. He, uh, he walked Tino Martinez to lead off the fifth. Don't you know it? He came around the score. That leg kick is awesome. Though. Love it. Yeah, good watch. Good watch. What are we thinking, uh, 1995? How are you feeling with the graphics and optics all this? I know you're not a turf guy. Well, what I find very interesting, if anyone that has watched all of our watching baseballs up to this point, if you followed along, we've been talking about the advancements of the score bug and the advancements of all this. When we got to 1996, I believe Fox took over and they were the first World Series we saw that had a constant score bug. And this, ESPN had this special 163 game. I bet there was a lot of bidding over who was going to broadcast the tiebreaker game. And they have a score bug, so maybe ESPN led the way with the score bug constant in this game. Yeah, and this is a full... I mean, man, this... There it is. Single in the hole will do it. Oh, um, so dejected. Yeah, that, that score, yeah, that's, that that score bug. I mean, that's uh, that that sends me back, man. That's uh, that, that score bug helped raise me. That's all you need, okay? Look at this replay. That's nice. Oof. I mean, on the turf, you no chance. 
Tony Phillips. Just got to uh, turn two. That's all. Great play in the fifth that I do like that Angels play, logo, the CA like that. Upset, I, think it's because I don't love it. Um, it seems I like the way he's, he's wearing that hat either. It's too vertical. It feels like he's got, he's got a lot of airspace. There's our dude, Constantino. The young lefty on lefty matchup here. And so you're up one. I don't know. I mean, you don't. Uh, I wonder, again, at this time period, like hit and runs are still a thing, especially. I don't know. You're up one. Like you could kind of. Oh, no. Tino. Oh. Oh, no. So that's what I was wondering. Um, wow. Did, I don't think you and I expected a Tino bump there. No. Lefty power bat. So what again, how was Tino safe at first? I missed that part. So we've got a bunt. Almost right back to the pitcher. Bobbles. Repicks it up. Oh, he just didn't even throw. Yeah, that's a bad time. That's how an inning... Uh-oh. Langston looks well, young. He's like his glove. I don't like, I don't like that mound meeting. To the pitcher. Well, yes, everyone the seems angry. Everyone's base. running a little too hot right, right now. Like Season on the line, Jake. He did not know that Langston had bobbled the ball. These were the California the Angels. Play, right? Who do we got? Well, Gary DeSarcina at short. Young Jim Edmonds in center. Tim Salmon. Chili Davis. Good. Langston. Garrett Anderson. Okay. Langston's 34 years old here. Really? Yeah, I would have lost that. I would have said probably 24. Yeah, he looks really young. You see Langston Bobbitt. Now look at Hutler. You can see him at the right of your screen here. Now look at him. He's not. Oh, he thought he was getting the double play ball. The runner at first base had he been watching. That's brutal. That sucks. By the way, Chuck Hernandez is the pitcher coach. Took me way too long to figure out what happened, but. Yeah, he was set up with his back to the pitcher for the double play. Dan Wilson. Dan Wilson. Now, now this bunt. Who's Dan? I mean, is, yeah, this is this is fair game. I mean, Dan Wilson played a lot of years at catcher, but I think up one, especially this time period. I mean, and in this game, I think you're fine bunting with yeah, him. He's an eight-hole hitter. I think this bunt makes a great amount of sense in the second. 26 years old here. He was an one ball, one strike. If I remember right, I mean, I feel like Dan Wilson did it for a while. I have it up. 14 years. Yeah. Went to 2005. I think when people were started when we were three years old and then they went to when we were, like, actively watching every season, it felt like right. they had been doing it forever. Because so much had happened in our lives. <laughs> well, and I, I think the bigger thing that stands out is, I mean, he was with Seattle from 94 to 2005. I mean, that's that's pretty cool. And uh, no error will be charged Damn. in that play. At first they had said error on Langston. Then they changed it to a fielder's choice. And I think when they saw... It right, can't be an error. We saw, yeah. Well, no, it's, it's an error. Langston's error. He still had time to get that's the an error. Is it scarier team. putting a bunt down on turf? I wonder because it just goes. Like, you really yeah. got to deaden it more? Probably. Basically, just a ground ball. Oh, no. Okay. Survived that. Wow. Nice play by the catcher, man. I tell you what, that cat, he felt like a badass doing that. That slide, that was cool. So the. Angels got a break, I think, on that one. Well, they if you're the skipper right now, you're having a real bad time. <laughs> yeah, you're just destined to lose this game. He has point. to chase it. I mean, there's no way he can get to that ball, get up, and make a throw to third base. But again, Blowers just didn't. Think I mean, it hey, I mean, the catcher screwed that up, but nice save. Very big play. The catcher is Andy Allen. Oh my God. <laughs> Did they collide? Jeez, what a play. But the runners have been moved up. Lowers to third, Tino to second. Show me the replay. I think we got contact. Yeah, I think, I think they collided and stuck with the play. Is this a disaster? Because so far, I didn't think we were walking into a disaster, and it feels that way. 
it looked like Langston. See, he doesn't want to go. charge too quickly because it looks like Langston might get it. Now he has to come get it. He has to avoid oh. Langston barehanded, throws it while he's No contact, down. I don't think, Jake. I, mean, that, you know, it, I think he avoided him. He definitely, back. like, Look you know, hindered play. the play, I mean, though. Langston's in his way. Sure. He avoids Moment Langston, of panic. Throws while he's prone. That's a great play. And throws a strike. Well, now we all know why. I, I think mean, you got to get Langston God. out of this game. That's the other thing that, again, and we could circle this with a lot of these older games, but I mean, if you know, Langston isn't getting the opportunity to pitch through any of this nowadays. Dude, Langston, I mean, his headspace is just bad right now. You know what I mean? You've, you, you almost tackled your third baseman who was depressed before. Your catcher is doing all sorts of antics. You screwed up a punt. And the, the mound and visit was not fun. And just being an athlete, like, Langston, in his head, he was ready to throw to first, and the second baseman was being an idiot when the second baseman kind of didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. It's bad times for Langston. Bad head space from him. Yeah. yeah. Young-looking 34, though. Happy for him. You'll be yeah, there. You're young-looking nice 30. Yeah, but he's like an athletic. Like, I'm a high school-looking. I don't know. Jeff Passenday is treating you well. Big day. What do you think about Joey Cora? Are we a fan? No. Okay. That's fair. Sure, I like him. Swift change. Uh, indifferent. Why'd you have to ask me? Come on, man. Sorry. Laying it all out there now. The one, two. Oh, no. And I mean, <laughs> you give Langston another batter at this point, you're sick in the head. Yeah, but then you got to bring someone into Langston's mess. And it gets away from him. Actually, Cora didn't move too well either. But there's but nothing he's going to do to get out of this. That's the margin for error he had because of the great play by. Tony and so Cole. Joey Cora was the nine hitter here. So We're going to the top of the lineup with Vince Coleman, one of the best base Langston. dealers of all times. So let me see what he was doing in '95. Okay, so he was a mid-season so trade many. acquisition. Love that. Stadium will be decided right here. Batting leadoff, hitting 290, 335 on base. 16 swipes in, in 40 uh -huh. games. Opens him up, curveball away. Now you're gonna get you're gonna get a fastball in the zone here. Because Langston's not making a ballsy pitch, and he's got to throw a strike. He can't fall down 2-0. And I think the bigger problem here is. I mean, total this season, Vince Coleman only struck out 80 times. Overthrew it. So here, that's the situation right there. He's like, okay, he knows I'm throwing a fastball. I know he knows I'm throwing a fastball. I got to fucking rifle this. Overthrows it. Now it's two up. And you're, you're just in a horrible spot because you've got an extremely fast baseball player when your only kind of hope is the double play right now. And you're on turf. Like, there's just too many elements in play. I think he pulled the string on that one. That was a ballsy nice play. Yeah, that was nice. That was a nice change out. Two out. not swinging, that's probably ball three. Or it's a borderline. Griffey getting loose. Griffey and Sweet Lou, man. Just, what, ten days ago against Oakland, against Todd Van Poppel. Yeah. Came on his 34th birthday. Two and one the count. Langston trying to keep... His team alive. So now what do you do? Deep blank state. I think now, deep. I think now you I think now you try to go to curve. Oh, fastball. Wow. Nice pitch. Now got it back. Two two now you can go to the curve. Now you've got one pitch to waste before full count. Before and I don't think I don't you, think he has faith in his team. No, I've got I'm faith in his heater. Coleman's so pissed problem. he missed that pitch. Yeah. I drop a nice play, I drop a nice CC Sabathia Andy Pettit backside curve. Mm. Eat. 
Had to go out and get it. Another tough pitch from Langston. It remains two and two. Battle, I'll little battle. A lot of Refuse back, to lose. A little extra here with Vince Coleman. Again, you saw the runners. Opens up. Flowers at third. Tino Martinez at second. Cora at first. The infield and the outfield is backed up and straight away. The left field is very deep, even though. Home blue field. Associate with the home runs. Garrett Anderson very deep in the left. Ooh, oh. Langston wanted that ball. Well, he wanted that pitch. Good take. So little sure stare he back. Right, he yeah. That. Now he's gotten three fastballs in a row. But. It's a 3-2 count with bases loaded. So, right? We're going fastball. I mean, it's, it's 1995, too. Vince Coleman's not a power threat. Look how many threat. dudes are in ties there. Holy smokes. Is this yeah. a, a... Oh, I think he went off speed. The duel continues. Okay. Looked like cheese, but I'm a little delayed. Maybe not. It looked like his swing was off. This was a Monday... Game at 1:30 start. So a bunch of guys. So that's a fine. Half day at work. Came with the tie. Went to the game. Actually, I respect the hell out of that. Bring two outfits? No way. I go fastball. It's in the right. Salmon. It's caught. The throw home, and Blowers does not even attempt it. Whoa. I bet he okay. thought he didn't catch that, so he retreated. The batting helmet down at first base. He didn't tag. That's bad base running. Has shown himself to be one of the most bad base, base running. A really nice play. Salmon. Yeah, our dude, um, King Fish. You know, I, I don't know uh, Blowers, Blowers speed, because um, I, I think it could have potentially been close. I mean, sliding catch, you like to think he gets in there. Coleman's not happy. No. Let's see. And you're right. I mean, he's Slide on and catch. He he's up. up. I mean, the double pump there. Let's up. see. Tag up. That's what you're supposed to do. He tags up too late. Oh, no. And then he would have been out. He Coleman looks back. Yeah. Coleman said he didn't score. Are you kidding me? Wow. Now the broken back. Ooh, Vince wanted that ribby. Soho gets the job done with a little fucking dribbler to his first base I mean, is line. that not... Is that not the story of Luis Soho? I mean, that ball is <laughs> rattling under bullpen benches. And, and yeah. here comes Soho! I mean, that's I mean, the, that's as, yeah, yeah, I mean, as good as it like, gets. That is... I want to pause it kind of. We'll talk about That's the beauty, beauty of the sport. Coleman's up there battling a long-ass battle finally puts a nice like a hard shot to right in play it takes a great play by the defense and a dumb maybe a dumb base running blunder to not score a run Seattle thinks that or California thinks they catch their breath first pitch to Soho not even a hard hit ball but just perfectly placed like a trick pull shot and now it's five nothing yeah, and I mean, how how about to add on to it? Uh, let's let's the Coleman at bat. It's bases loaded, 2-0 count, and it's like if you're a Mariners fan and you're at a bar, that's a really good time. You think the lid's about to be blown off? Langston battles back, pretty tough inning. Gets Coleman sliding catch. The run doesn't score. Now it's like, oh shit, do we just blow our opportunity? And as you say, Luis pulls out a little league homer out of his butt. And if you're the Angels, your whole season went out the window on a cue ball down to first. I can't believe they haven't showed a replay of it. Langston, man. Get the camera off him. Did that have been played? I need to see a replay of this. It happened so fast. Replay would be nice. Instead, let's just watch Mark Langston cry. Be very sad about it. But how did Soho even score? Show the fucking replay, ESPN. Big Mariners fan in the truck, maybe. Are you kidding me with this prolonged Langston shot? It is Looks great. He is real good looking 34. Okay. Luis Soho, of all people, gets the big end. Now, watch the bat is broken. Now, the ball, the bat goes. 
broken bat, the most broken bat. Oh, no. Was that Langston as the second cutoff? Yeah. Going oh. fastball from 45 feet? Are you kidding me by the slide on the catcher there, though? Did you see that? Dude, that's all that catcher does, Jim. That catcher, who is it? Sorry that you're upset with me that I don't know his name. Allen uh, something. Andy Allenson. Okay, career, point eight war. No, I shouldn't know his name. I don't feel bad about it. He's the best diving catcher of all time. Um, he's a couple he's, things. He's great at Luke. sliding his arm. Like, He's the sorry. best sliding catcher of all time. Luis Soho's goatee is un unrivaled. If we Let's watch. go back to Langston, man. Yeah, yeah. Langston's had this brutal inning. First off, in that sucks. The you got to dig it out from underneath the thing. Nightmare. And almost not real that that happened within my lifetime. And, like, it was just okay. Play on. Everyone get out of the way. Um, <laughs> secondly... Langston, the pitcher on this play, was a relay man and covered home plate. It was all over it, and he threw the pitch. What a nightmare. So hold on. So he misses that cutoff, and he misses, and he goes to Langston. Oh, he doesn't miss he, his cutoff. We just have Langston 40 feet away ready to pepper it. Langston could have let this that is, bounce. Langston could have let that bounce, and it probably would have been a perfect throw to get this guy out at home. And, I mean, just look at what we're seeing. When, when has it ever ended well with someone rifling it from 40 feet away? Yeah. Now watch the catcher. It's badass. I'm telling you. Look at the slide right here. Whoosh. And then the throw all in one motion on the money. Like, look, Soho was safe. If he's out at home there, that's a great play by the catcher. He's the best sliding catcher of all time. Did they have him? I don't know. But uh, this should be called the Langston Depression. Maybe. And for the Mariners, Lewis. I love my And again, if, it, yeah, if you don't know, I mean, Soho was a bench player throughout a lot of the Yankees dynasty, so he's entrenched in our hearts a little bit. Um, and he's just that guy. He's at, That was... That play was Louis Soho encompassing. Um, Still winner. I think he's got the Subway Series, like, 10 hopper up the middle to win it. And, like, it's just, he's, he's a beautiful man. <laughs> Let's, uh, they, they score four again in the next inning to make it nine to nothing. Nine to one. I want to watch Johnson in the nine. Johnson, comma, Randy. Oh, they're showing it again. I mean, once they figured out that replay, they let it ride. Oh, this is just a Langston show. Damn. Could he have fielded that? Did everything that's that could what have I kind of can't tell. Jesus, Langston. Good J.T. Snow. Randy Johnson, the pride of Livermore, California. And his teammates. But, it, you know, all of that, might, as you pointed out, might not have even mattered because of this man. The way the big unit is pitching. How old is Randy Johnson? Been more than enough. Yeah, and the Angels may not have scored in this century the way that he's pitching. The, the well, A, the three articles that I just Googled said that the ball was just out of J.T. Snow's reach, so okay. I don't know. I think he's clear for now. All right. Randy Johnson's 32 here. I mean, the Randy Johnson long. numbers are so messed up because of, yeah, how, how late he pitched. He pitched till he was 45, so he's 32 here. And it's his eighth season, kind of kind of seventh because there's an injury in no, 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 seven season. And I mean, it's nuts. He didn't, he didn't really put it together until '92. Um, 
I mean, you can do some fun Randy Johnson stuff if he figured it out when he was 24. Um, but yeah, he led the Bam. league in walks. 90, 91, 92. Repetition with that big frame. Pretty tough to do. Someone, someone we responded. I did a video on him once, and someone responded, said like, he'd be a closer immediately now. Like if he had those first three seasons, they'd probably put him in the bullpen. Yeah, I mean they fastball slider. Um, that's a tough homer to celebrate. Right. There's a slider. Now Randy's going to win. Spike Owens. Oh, Double, mm. Double helmet. We haven't seen that in a little bit. No radar gun, huh? No, that, that didn't happen for a long time, I feel like. Jim, you want Randy Johnson's stats from 1995? Yeah, what are they? 18 and 2. With a 2.48 ERA. Gee, what is this? 214 innings pitched, 294 strikeouts. Winner of your AL site. That ball was hit pretty well again. Did he he won the Cy Young? Yes. Did he get MVP votes? Uh, he finished sixth in the MVP. Not bad, Randy. Pretty good. Pretty pretty. How were they able to How were they able to have him pitch in this? I want, you know what I mean? Like I wonder if why didn't he pitch so, the last game? This game was on October second. His start before that was September 28th, so I guess that's just how it played out. Yeah. <laughs> With their other... <laughs> what? Randy Johnson's pitch count numbers are disgusting. Lay them on me. Okay. Let me do his month of July really quickly. 122, 160, what? 140, 137, and then he ended it with a 110. What? That Randy Johnson went that was 160 July? pitches and then followed it with 140. His last, let's see, in September, October, he had one, two, three, four, five, six, six starts, <laughs> and the lowest pitch count is 119. Did you see the play that the just I what happened? Not. Lowest pitch count 119 is amazing. You need to see this play. It's see the it. exact opposite of what Langston and the Angels were doing. It goes off Randy Johnson's glove, ricochets back to the catcher, who darts him at first. Randy with the block. Damn that a baby. Tino. Dude, that's such a good play by the catcher. So many catchers probably don't like give up on that. Ball. Don't even react, yeah. Yeah. And he did the spin move and throw. We've seen some phenomenal, uh, some good phenomenal catcher, catcher stuff. I mean, the other guy... He did have a pass ball For 19 years, they've had a hard and stuff. He created the situation. His slides were cool. Chris Bazio. Two strikes with two down. Here we go, Randy. Here we go. So, yeah, his, and just going back to it quick, his final six starts. 119, 122, 122, 127, 134, 125. <laughs> so he averaged 120 pitches to start? Basically, Lou Pinella's limit was 120, and then let's think about it. 
<laughs> Different There's game. No they, I mean, Lou Pinello wasn't even counted. They had no idea. Those numbers were counted retroactively. Because they didn't <laughs> fuck it. I mean, these are nuts. He has 10 games with 130 or more pitches. It's a good celebration by the two of them. Champions of the American League West. They go on to do a pretty cool job in the ALDS versus the Yankees. It's a pretty fun series, five games, and Randy Johnson is just a mean, mean cuss coming out of the bullpen, throwing smoke. And I think that the other thing that needs to be tied into this is think about the story again. Like the Mariners were back. indoor fireworks? Oh, yeah, baby. 90s were hot. Um, Oh, we got people. Um, Dude, think about the energy around this team. You've got, you were down 13 games. um, And then you come back, you play a wild card game. You play that, you play a crazy DS coming up against the Yankees. Like, there's, there are really fun seasons that don't end with a World Series. And this has to be up there on the list. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good call. And it's okay to be reminiscent. If you're, what are they doing? Digging out home plate? You crazy <laughs> motherfuckers. That guy just brought a rock. He's digging out home plate. <laughs> Get this guy out of here. Not cool, man. I mean, Not holy cool. smokes, dude. Well underway at the Team just won. Let me the dig Mariners up the plate. The he brought out a digging device. The mere fact that this game has hurt their chances of beating the Yankees. Jesus. Like, look in the they mirror. From 13 games back, maybe. That guy, that guy just ruins it for everything else. What a weirdo. Just jump around and be happy. There's no reason to steal home plate. No. Come on. Uh, okay, yeah. Back to the shot of one to the assassin. Yeah. Good stuff, guys. All right, well, where's my mouse? That was the 1995 game 163. Some fun stuff. Some good players. Fun game, fun, game, fun team. I enjoyed it. Thank you for watching with us. We will be back on Monday doing another game 163, making our way through the world today. The rest of that lyric.